Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another fun-filled episode of the Weekly Art Challenge Review. I'm your host, BJ Dell, and every week I give you a word prompt. You head over to Facebook, post your designs, and then the following week I do a video kind of reviewing five or six of the designs from the group. Last week's word was baby, so let's see what you guys came up with. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into this week's video. The first one up for the word baby is Dominic, and this one is really cool. Uh, I talk a lot about how much of a fan I am of, you know, storytelling in your artwork and doing it on just a single panel like this. Sometimes can be very difficult, but I think Dominic did a great job with this. So you've got the, the bird mom here kind of surprised as the baby elephant is hatching from the egg. And, you know, the, the baby here is asking, you know, mom or exclamation point, question mark. Uh, this, I, honestly, you wouldn't even need. Uh, it's very well done as far as the expression from the bird. I think it tells the story. Of course, this adds to it, uh, but it just kind of tells you the, the strength of the overall composition, just because you can tell what's going on without even having that in there. I would definitely leave it. I'm not saying take it out, but it just shows you, like I said, the, the strength of the design. Uh, I think the expression does wonders for the bird. This is really great. These little uh, kind of exclamations coming out. I'm not sure if these are just like that surprised look coming out or if those are supposed to be feathers. Um, you could go either way with that. Of course, if they're supposed to be feathers, I don't think they are because I would probably make those purple. But if they're just that kind of surprised marks coming out, I think they're really well done. And uh, the baby itself, the elephant is super cute. I just kind of like the, you know, the thin sketchiness of the lines. It looks really, really good. And these eggs are super cute too with the, the little uh, speckles on them. I think that works really well. As far as color choices, I think the, the bird itself is really good. The eggs are good. The background's good. I think the elephant is probably a little bit too close to the background color. So I would probably have changed the elephant a little bit. Uh, maybe just went with, you know, just the basic gray color for the elephant. And you can see it kind of starts to pop out from that background. I think it kind of gets lost a little bit with having it at that kind of bluish color that you can see kind of blends in there. So that's the only thing really here that I would change, but I think it's a really great design. So thanks for sharing that this week, Dominic. The next one up is uh, Trayvon. And this one, the the baby that got into the cookies and it's up to no good. And I think this one is really great. I know a lot of people in the uh, Facebook group commented that they love the lighting and as do I, I think the lighting is really fantastic in this. Uh, but to kind of go deeper into the lighting and kind of the overall feeling that you get. So you've got this cute, adorable baby who's doing something that they're not supposed to, stealing the cookie. So I kind of like that you chose to have the, the cookie in this part here that's kind of the mischievous part as the shadow part. So it almost speaks to that, uh, you know, up to no good. So that's in the shadow to whereas, you know, the, the baby's face here and this back area that is just, you know, the normal part of the baby is kind of lit. It, it almost speaks to what's going on in the scene, just having that part being the, the darker part. And I think that's a, a really cool design choice. And just the way that the light reflects off of everything is really fantastic. I love just the, the curves and the overlapping here that you did with the legs. I think that is really, really well done. I also like that you went with the different color than just going with a solid black for the outlines and then getting down to the diaper then even change that up some more. So you've got uh, just a variance in the outline colors, which I think works really well for this. It kind of gives it that soft feel and it's a very natural looking design uh, by using those different colors on the line. So I think that's really fantastic. And the expression in the mouth here is just super, super good. So fantastic job, Trayvon. Thanks for showing that this week. Uh, next up is Holly and Holly's got this pencil one and this is just beautiful. I love this one so much. Uh, at first, I think initially your eyes drawn to the baby's face. And this is one reason why I picked this one this week. Number one, it's fantastic, but you can see how the the lines here and the shading of the lady's hands that are holding the baby, you've got a lot more of a gray tonal value across here. 
and then the face of the baby is you know really bright there's not a lot of the gray so it really kind of helps bring out the appearance of the baby here same thing with the the hands here being that darker gray coming up into this brighter part of uh, the blanket then back up into the baby's face if you went heavy with the the shading and did this you know kind of in a consistent way across everything like with the hands and the blanket down here and this hand here the baby would kind of get lost it would just have an overall just steady gray appearance and this is one thing i think is really difficult to do but absolutely knocked it out of the park on this one is being able to you know use a different technique for lighting to kind of bring the focal point to the baby and then this stuff is kind of something you see after that initial impression of, of seeing the baby so just fantastic job i love uh you know the work here of doing the the aging around the the arms and the hands and some of the spots here just works fantastic and almost is approaching that you know level of photorealism and i think you did a fantastic job so thanks so much for sharing that one this week holly Next one up is Kale, and I think this one is Kale as a baby, and I think this is super adorable. I love, I think the the part that stands out the most that I love is the way the beard here comes up kind of over the glasses, and I think that is just really, really cute how those kind of meet right there. I think that's the part that really stands out to me on the design. Uh, the baby itself, it's a really good design. I like having the oversized pencil here and the blanket, those playing well to each other, and just the, the overall character design of the baby and the body I think works really well the diaper is done extremely well uh in addition so the one thing here that I would probably recommend is if you look I like kind of the the line weight you've got here on the head I think that's really good and I like the way that this is kind of thicker over here for a line weight that goes a little bit thinner over here but then with the rest of the design I think the line weights are just a little bit too thick going down here into the arms so one thing I would recommend here is just kind of lightening up those line weights you just got just a pretty steady thick line going around so if you would lighten those up kind of bring this arm and obviously not do it over here do it where you've got it but just for uh, the sake of showing an example, you know, just bringing this up here and then with the shoulder coming down, you could kind of curve those in where they meet, you know, you could kind of bring this around and in. So it's kind of got that fold there where it would be creased where the upper portion meets the lower portion where that elbow would be behind. But yeah, just like I said, just lightening up those lines so they're just not a super dark, thick, solid line going around. You know, same thing over here. It's just one big thick line. So if you just brought those up, kind of tapered them in and just use some different line weights like that to kind of make it a little bit softer. It's just really heavy right now. And then kind of following that along and doing the same thing with the feet and the blanket as well. Just getting some different line weights in there. I do like how you went ahead and went with the smaller line weights here in the center. So everything's not super thick. You did use, you know, the heavier on the outside and then the thinner on the inside. So keep the thin lines here, but just kind of use those and make them just a little bit thinner. And I think it would look uh, a lot better, but it's a fantastic job as is. So great job, Kale. Uh, next one up is Jasmine. And I know Jasmine said she's been in the group for a while, just kind of hanging out, not saying much, but she finally decided to jump in the challenge. So congratulations getting out of your comfort zone and sharing your work. And I really love the design you submitted this week. Uh, the first thing I think that pops out on this one is the color choices are just really good. It's got a nice, just bright, welcoming color palette to it and I think it's done really really well so that right off the bat it kind of struck me there uh, the other thing I like too is the fact that use the thicker lines around here but then for the the bonnet or the hat here you know this is just very thin lines up here that doesn't really distract same thing with the face here you did vary the line weight in those and I think that is really really good a uh, couple things that I would change here is first off the the arm here with the shoulder just has a, a really awkward look to it. It almost reminds me if you would think of kind of like a baby doll to where, let's do the side view of a baby doll to where those arms attach. So this would be like the hole that the arm goes into and then you've got, you know, the arm here that goes into that hole and you've got the, the part that kind of snaps into there. 
it kind of reminds me of that just because this extra line around here. So to kind of make it look a little bit more natural, you don't necessarily need to connect this at the top. So if you just bring this out like this, have that front part of the arm actually come down off the back into the shoulder like so, it's going to look a lot more natural than just having that kind of rounded off uh, like a ball socket arm from a baby doll. So see that looks just a little bit more natural. And then this here, I'm not sure if this is the, the crease of the skin, but I would probably just have that up here at the top, not here at the bottom uh, where these kind of start to crease and come together. It's going to be like right around there. So uh, just doing one, you know, really lightly up here to where those crease, I think that would help to kind of soften that, make it a little bit more realistic and just be an overall, you know, better looking design. And then from there, uh, down here, I would probably just try to do something in this blue section. Uh, it just doesn't read necessarily very well as far as what this is down here. Uh, if the baby's laying on like a blanket or something like that. So if you maybe put, uh, if it is like a blanket, um, you know, putting some creases in there and maybe even just like a pattern that would be on a blanket that you could color in. Just whatever that's supposed to be, I'm not sure. So I'm not sure what to recommend there, but I would just do something so the viewer knows exactly, you know, what that is. As far as the background, I wouldn't worry here. It's not really important what this is back here, but just to kind of define that, I think would make it stand out a little bit more, but fantastic job. And like I said, thanks so much for sharing. And last but not least, this week is Mel, and this one is awesome. Uh, so this, you remind me of the babe from the movie Labyrinth, one of my top five movies of all time. Uh, there was somebody in the group the other day that I know and messaged me and asked what movie this was from. And I'm not gonna out you in the video, but I told this person we could no longer be friends because she didn't know and she's old enough to know. <laughs> so you know who you are, but yeah. Absolutely love Labyrinth. So seeing this was just really, really cool and kind of has a very Tim Burton-esque look to it. Uh, I've talked about, you know, being a big Tim Burton fan before. Uh, another artist too, like when we talked about the circus punk, it kind of has a, a Gris Grimley feel as well. Just has that darkness to it. Uh, but at the same time, balancing the cute factor along with the darkness, something that's hard to do, but Mel absolutely killed it with this. I love it so much. Uh, and just kind of the, if we zoom in here, just kind of the roughness of the, the overall coloring, the lines here. And it honestly, I mean, anybody looking at this thinks most of the time that this is kind of basic, easy to do. And I'll be the first to tell you, this is a very stylized choice that is difficult to do. And I give you kudos because you absolutely killed it. And I love the work. It's not an easy look to come up with and to kind of balance out all these different lines to balance out the textures to, you know, like here in the background, how everything fades, you can see, you know, it's dark around here and then it fades up here around the center and, you know, back dark here and the way that this, this moon is with the, you know, the extra uh, lines around here. This is not an easy look to make happen. So it's absolutely really, really good. And same thing here with the handwritten text. I just, I love handwritten and did a, a great job with that. It really ties in well to the overall design and everything has a really cohesive nature to it. And it's from Labyrinth, you know? So like I said, one of my top five movies of all time, uh, I've talked about it before. My number one is Dark Crystal and I cannot wait until Friday because the new Dark Crystal mini series is on Netflix, or I guess it's a full length series, uh, 10 episodes. Do not try to get a hold of me Friday. I'm turning my phone on airplane mode and I'm going to binge watch all 10 episodes back to back on Friday. That is my day and I cannot wait because like I said, favorite movie of all time. So, but yeah, Mel, just a fantastic job and I really appreciate you sharing this one this week. And that is it for this week's word, baby. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked today's video too, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications so you can get alerted when I post new videos. Just want to thank all the artists that submitted designs this week. It just really blows me away every week seeing the work that goes into these challenges and what you guys do and come up with. So thank you all. If you haven't yet joined, hop on over to Facebook after the video. The link for the group is down below in the description. We want you guys over in the Keep Creating group. So hop on over there. That's where you share your work based on these weekly challenge prompts. 
And speaking of, last week's word was baby. So this week, uh, got news that I'm actually going out to LA Comic Con in October. I illustrated a card game called Unicorns and Zombies uh, over the past few years. It's finally launching and they're going to be out in LA for LA Comic Con. And they want me out there for a signing, so I'll be out there October 11th through the 13th. We already did unicorns on a previous prompt so i thought why not finish this up with zombies uh it's been really cool because like i said worked on this game a while back and now kind of seeing it come to life and going to print and shipping and all that uh plus i'm also being tasked with doing t-shirts for it, stickers and coloring books so on and so forth to kind of build up some extra merch for the launch so kind of my life right now doing this stuff so super excited about that but i wanted to bring that love to you guys with the zombies so see what you guys can do and if one word a week is not enough for you you need more than that also on amazon right now to keep creating 365 days of drawing prompts sketchbook hop on over and grab that every single day you get a new word to draw and then you can post these in the group as well so want to see what you guys do with this as for me i can be found online bjadel.com as well as on instagram and Twitter at BJ Dell. And also down in the links below, I'm going to put the link for Unicorns and Zombies if you want to check out that game. The website is live and there's going to be more merch coming for that. So you can see what I've been working on. So until next time, keep creating.